Hello everyone, my name is Tobias Turnquist, this is Matthew Marjan, and we are Team 6 for uh, CIS 310 Ronda Silas class, Dr. Ronda Silas. Um, the concept we came up with, with uh, was a smokehouse slash uh, steakhouse. The, com the company name or the business name was going to be, or is, Cowboy Corner. Uh, we aim to serve anyone, basically. Um, the atmosphere that we, we, we sought to provide was from to serve anyone um, who were coming in, for, coming in for a quick bitey for lunch to the team who wanted to come on a date at, you know, at a, at in the evening because we wanted to have that atmosphere for, and for them. Um, our product, the main product that we sought to serve was going to be called the, the Cowboy. Uh, it was a sandwich, barbecue sandwich that was entailed like six different quality meats that were minced together, um, served on a sourdough bun uh, with our in-house barbecue, our in-house barbecue sauce. And um, it would entail, you know, all those different meats would be from all over that would be legally acquired here in the United States, nothing too uh, taboo. Um, our business concept, the business idea that we came up with, the business model, what we thought would put us above the, the competition here in Ruston, what would give us, you know, more more of the profit that we, we, we aim to achieve. Um, we would use strategic sourcing strategies that, say, Walmart uses to bid down their suppliers and get like the best price that they wanted. Um, that's what we would aim to do with our meat suppliers. Um, bid them down with our purchasing contract and uh, just improve our bottom line. Um, here is the e are the e-tools that we uh, that we use to promote our, our site. I'm gonna let Matthew handle this one. Uh, Matthew. So yes, we, uh, we made a Facebook page and our, our biggest goal with Facebook was to just hit our largest audience possible because Facebook is the largest social media site today. Um, it has 890 million daily active users and we wanted to just tap into that. Um, we used it to, like I said, get to as many people as we could and the way that we got traffic to our page was we just posted on our, on our personal pages and asked our friends and family to like the page and to share it with others. And it was pretty successful. Um, our Facebook page reached a total of 120 people in three different countries. 59% of the people we reached were women, while 41% were men. However, 46% of our fans are women, while 54% are men. Our biggest age demographics was women between the ages of 25 and 34, which is 20% of the people that we reached, and then men between the ages of 18 and 24, which is 16% of the people we reached. Um, this tells us that we reached a large variety of people, which is exactly what we wanted. It also tells us that our posts our post reached more women than men, even though more of our fans were men. This tells us that more women use Facebook, and targeting women specifically could be beneficial for our business. However, it also tells us that men show more support for our business by liking our page. And we also made a Twitter page. Twitter is one of the fastest growing social media sites today. Um, it has more of a younger, educated, tech savvy user base. And that user base has the potential to be a very powerful marketing tool for any business. Um, the thing about Twitter is it's you share information very quickly and concisely. You just post up, you can't type too much, and you just put it out there and it's there. If you can get a strong Twitter following, you can be very successful. Um, we decided to do Twitter so that we could get to that younger market because like we said we want to get to everyone and the younger market is a very important market so we thought Twitter would be a great way to attract those people um, we drove traffic to our Twitter very similar to the way we did Facebook we just posted on our personal pages and we asked our followers to go and follow our business page and um, we created our Twitter on January 15th we gained four followers that day just from asking family and friends to follow. And then due to inactivity, we lost a total of two followers within a week.
because we, we didn't post anything. And this told us that in order to engage your following, um, you need to engage your following to retain a following. Um, we posted our first tweet on January 29th and we immediately gained 10 followers that day. This told us that being active and engaging can bring a much larger audience to your business. So we continue to be active and engage our audience and we never lost another follower, we only gained followers. For YouTube, YouTube is just the, basically the number one place to post any video that you ever create. It's the biggest video site out there by far. So it's a great place to post any video ads that you create or any commercials. Um, video consumption is one of the most popular avenues of entertainment today. People are always watching videos. People love videos. And that's just a great way to attract customers. Um, YouTube is also targeted a little bit more towards the younger generation. A lot of younger people stay on YouTube more than older people, even though older people do use it. Um, but it, it has a good ability to reach people on other social media sites. So we put a video up on YouTube, we'll share it to our Facebook page and to our Twitter page, and people view it on there. Um, we, within three days of posting, our video had 20, 25 views, five likes, and three comments. Um, this tells us, um, we also found out that most of the people that watched the video stayed till about the end, so we made a good video that people didn't just leave after the first five seconds. Um, so YouTube was good. For Blogger, Blogger is a great way to go into more depth about your business or your product. Um, blogger attracts more of like the food enthusiasts and your, our fellow culinary artists since we're in the restaurant business. It's a great way to get constructive feedback about what you have to offer. Um, blogger reaches people who are actively searching for things that are related to your product and people who know a lot about your product. Um, we post it on our blogger but we didn't promote it on our other pages because we were kind of hoping that just those people that I just described that are actively searching for that know a lot about the food industry would find our page and would engage in some feedback with us. Um, our analytics told us that we got a total of 19 page views without any promotion on our other pages. And that's a good thing, we were surprised by that, but however, we did not get any feedback. So we decided that if we ever made a change, um, we would post more often and we, we would promote it on our other sites um, because the more that you promote and the more that you post, the better you are, the chances you are reaching more people. Our website, um, we made the website because the website is just a great place for customers to go to to get any information that they can't find on your social media sites or any information at all that they want to know about your business. And that's the kind of website that we created. Uh, I believe that a good website shows that you are a good business that you're a well-run business and that you care about your customers. Um, the website also was good for reaching not only um, current customers, but potential customers and even potential suppliers, and it showed them what kind of business we were. Um, we drove traffic to our website the same way as all the other ones, by promoting it on our other social media sites. Our website gained a total of 33 pages within two days, which was 17 views per day. This told us that our customers on our social media sites were very interested in what our website had to offer. And this also tells us that maintaining a good website is very valuable to a business's success. This is a screenshot of our website. Um, we just put a little quick promotional right there. That's our YouTube video. That's our logo. Try to make it look nice and professional. This is our Facebook page. Try to keep similar themes throughout. This is our Twitter page. Again, same logo on everything. Our YouTube video, we posted everything on all of them. Um, this is our YouTube page with our video, keeping with the logo. And this is our blogger. So we try to keep, as you can see, a similar color theme and a similar you know, brand try to brand ourselves a little bit throughout all of our sites so that people could recognize us when they see our logo or anything. And there you go. Thank you for um, thank you for your time and thank you for listening to what we had to say about our business. Bye.